you get this nice cool mask but it's actually two parts one is the underlayment which has a lot of hyaluronic acid and it's nice and jelly and cooling and the second part has little batteries on the top and you go ahead and put that over and because of the batteries it presents alternating current which will open up the skin matrix to push some of this nice moisture back in because while you're doing the actual microneedling the heat is searing the follicle shut so we need to reopen it with this battery operated little mask here to push moisture back in so it'll get nice and juicy okay because really the mask doesn't cover your neck we're going to put a little post cream on there right now and that will actually bring down a little bit of the redness as well the neck sometimes will languish behind the face just because it's thicker so you might have a little more pinkness post treatment on the neck area than the face it just heals a little bit faster on the face We're gonna leave this on for about 30 minutes. And when we take it off, as you can see, she's got a lot of red coloring to her skin. Should It should all be waned out, almost just to like a light pink flush. You're not gonna do any kind of exercise or use any kind of makeup or soap for a full 24 hours. Uh, you're gonna go home with a little bit of post cream and the best uh, information is to keep it wet and juicy at all times. Keep your hands off of it, unless they have a surgical scrub on there. Um, and again, you can certainly utilize things like a spray water, like an Avene or a La Roche-Posay thermal spring water uh, to keep it hydrated. Uh, we have several things here at the office. We also give you this nice little card to go home with that gives you all your aftercare instructions and what to do and when to start back with your acids and regular skincare.